Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do they secretly want to tell you? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. So we're going to be talking about what do they secretly want to tell you. I'm going to get you guys some advice, and then stick with me till the end. I'm going to ask a question for you guys, whatever the question is, a yes or no question. So stick with me to the end. If you guys like this, like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what is my Sagittarius's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is my Sagittarius's love interest? Secretly want to tell my Sagittarius's. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm seeing an image of a sun. So there is a sense of happiness within this person. All right, so I get the sense that this person really wants to see the bigger picture. I get the sense this person really wants to find some kind of creative solution. Some of you guys may work with this person, um, and you may not even be aware of this, but they are watching you. They're aware of you for sure. And um, I get the sense that they feel like they're building something with you uh, with this Three of Pentacles energy. Let's go further and let's get more information. We got the Cherry card energy. There is definitely a desire within this person we see that the chariot talks about some kind of desires and also from a chariot card energy talks about travel, something to do with travel, putting the work or effort into some kind of travel or desires. Interesting. This person is concerned that if they offered you something, you wouldn't, you wouldn't accept it. And what is it they're trying to offer you? It's something to do with their desires, their willpower, you know, their drive to, to travel towards you or something to do with travel around this situation. It's almost like they're like, well, they're probably going to ignore me. They're probably not going to accept what I have to offer here. Yeah, I get the sense that, you know, this person is really aware of you. Like when people are around, it's like a strong chemistry between you guys. It's almost like you guys really connect. And it's built up some kind of desire within this person with the cherry card energy. Let's go further. King of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Two of Swords. The Magician card. Wow, we got the High Priestess. We got the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck. It's like they get the sense that no one else is in the room but you and them. And that there's something really different or special about this connection. Wow. Wow. Like another angel here. See that? Wow, that's very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen like that before. Um, but I get the sense this person feels like you're a very healing person, too. And there must have been some kind of ending of a relationship here um, for some kind of new beginning. It's almost like uh, this person has to put like a mask on, I feel like, because of things to do with the past. Um, let's keep going. All right. So I get the sense that you guys work together. And uh, whether you're aware of it or not, you definitely connect with this person. This person definitely is aware of it. It's like they don't care who else is in the room with them. It's like there's definitely a strong chemistry between you and this person. It's like they hang on every word. And they have these strong desires to offer you something very tangible here, but it's like there's concern I'm going to miss an opportunity. Or they have an awareness that you have other offers here, the Four of Cups energy. Um, they definitely feel like something has grown around this connection. Let's go further. What is Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What is Sagittarius' love interest secretly want to tell Sagittarius? Show me the to see. Show me the card I need. Two. C. Yep, look at that. We see the flexibility card coming out. 
So I get the sense that this person tries to reorganize their schedule too, to try to be around you. And it looks like this person really sees you as somebody who is supportive to them or they want to be supportive to you. It's like they want to help you. I do get the sense that they want to communicate with you. I really do feel like they, they definitely want to clear the air. Like, they, they have a sense that there's some kind of solid foundation here. And it's like, all right, well, maybe I can dust things up. Let's get things started. That's what I get the sense of from this person. And we see that this person has been thinking about the fact that there's like this hidden aspects here. Like you may not think they're that great, you know. They're concerned that, you know, if they really reveal what's going on with them beneath the surface that you may not like what you see. It's like all the glitters isn't gold. Hmm. Interesting. So this person is trying to find a creative solution in their desires to, you know, have a victory here. But they're concerned about a missed opportunity. They don't know if you're even entertained by them because the four cups can represent a sense of boredom. Um, so let's keep going here. What is Sagittarius' love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Sagittarius' secret you want to tell Sagittarius? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, they're, they're definitely feeling a strong connection between you and them. And it's like they get, they're in this stuck, complacent place, you know? They're just like, oh, what do I do here? Like, I know something has grown here in this connection, but how do I shake things up? That's what I get the sense of. Like, there's a sense of complacency or stuck energy. And you definitely are a support system to them. They really feel like you've helped them a lot. You've, you, you know, you've talked to each other, you know? You've given each other time, and it's been helpful to them. They feel like it's very healing to them. Again, you see there's this supportive energy. So it's like you've really been there for them. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep going here. What is Sagittarius' love interest? The one they're here for? The one they know about. What is Sagittarius' love interest? Secretly want to tell Sagittarius? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, there's some breakthrough this person had, some big change. There's concerns because of uh, an infringing party or other people around. This could be, obviously, if you guys work together. So this could be people that you work around. Okay, this could be somebody here, you know, could have come out of the marriage. It does look like there was an ending of some kind of relationship, and it looks like you know, there's been a helpful energy and, and a counseling kind of energy between you and this person. So it's like almost like there's a realization here because of this, this situation with this other person about new love, the potential of love here. And this person's like, you know, something has really grown here. Something has really happened here. This person's really stable for me. Like I really get the sense that this person's like, from the past experiences that I've had, this person is the best and wisest decision for me. I can't stop thinking about them. But on the same token, I'm at a crossroads because I don't want to make any blind decision. Yeah, it's like they find you very attractive and they know that they have love for you with the love card energy or they know that love is growing here. They're concerned about making some kind of abrupt decision, you can see, because of the sense of needing to bring things in balance in their own lives. But they are really growing in feelings here. You can see that they have feelings for you. And this person's starting to realize that you're really an ideal partner for them with the Magician card energy. And that there's something a little bit more intuitive about you. It's like they want to gain some kind of knowledge. There's some kind of air of mystery for this person. And they're realizing, you know, the situation that they dealt with before, because I get the sense that they're coming off of a relationship here. They realize the situation that they had dealt with before. The grass wasn't greener over there. It's like they're realizing that now, and it's really getting them thinking. Because they were looking at the memories of the past, and they're like, wow, okay. Now I know that this Sagittarius is my ideal partner. 
it's like almost a sigh of relief for them because of these conversations you guys have about marriage and commitment. We see that there's a lot of conflict going on in this person's life when it comes to family. But it's like you intuitively know how to deal with this. And so it's like they like the fact that there's an investment of time with you. Interesting. So this person's like, all right, I, I don't have a lot of flexibility here, or I've been trying to be flexible in this, this, this uh, situation. You've been really helpful to me and supportive to me. And there's communications about um, helping me to clear the air and to, to heal. And now I have a realization that that, that, uh, that other situation really wasn't, wasn't that great. And you've got me thinking. You've got me thinking about that. And now I, got, I get the sense that I have a victory now in this moment. And I'm finding my direction in this sense of loss because we're working together. And it's making me make a decision, but I'm asking myself, why? Why is it happening like this? Why does the timing have to be like this? Okay, let's move this out of the way. So you can see they have this shock and surprise about this abrupt situation with family. And we see this ex-partner and them coming into balance. They're getting this spiritual uh, sense with you. They're seeing this could be a potential new love connection for them. And they are growing in feelings and they're seeing how things are going to play out with the patience card energy. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So you can see how this person's very cautious and defensive because of the chemistry and passion because you guys work together. So I've been deeply thinking about this relationship and wanting to make a power move to be single and available to pursue. So they must still be connected to that person somehow. Okay. So we see that it's like there's getting, there's definitely a strong pull between you guys spiritually or getting some kind of spiritual messages. They definitely like getting your attention and they like that sigh of relief. They're a bit stuck and they want to gain some kind of knowledge and a conversation. There's a healing energy here between you and them, which has grown in love. And we see there could be a commitment, engage your marriage involved. Or they may even see you as somebody that they want to commit to. But I get the sense that there was some kind of marriage or there's still in a marriage. If you guys work together. Because three of pentacles also can represent a third party of some sort. We see three of pentacles can say... I'm trying to find a creative solution because I realize that you're the wisest decision for me and I, I want an ideal situation. I'm trying to get the desires. I've been thinking about this. There's an air of miss here and I don't want to miss an opportunity. I'm indecisive. I need to make some kind of choice here because of memories of the past, something to do with the past. So let's get more information here. What does Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Sagittarius' love interest secretly want to tell Sagittarius's? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to. I get the sense that they're concerned about crossing the line with you. I mean, with these cards, when, when it's written on there, you, you also have to kind of use your intuition. You can't always read exactly what's on the card. That's what I've learned from using them. So I, I get the sense that they're concerned about crossing the line with you. And they want to... They're not sure if they should let you go or be with you. That's what this indecision is. See how they're saying, I'll wait for a sign from you. If we looked at what was going on there with the situation, it's like this person was like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. But it seemed like they had some other situation with family or a wife or like, a, you know, a husband. So they had some kind of marriage situation or family situation going on. But it's like they have this strong chemistry with you. And on the same token, you guys work together. So like, I don't want to cross the line. So maybe I need to let the, this person go. But then it's like on the same token, you see there's a conflicting thing going on here. I'll wait for a sign from you. There you go. What did I say? This person had feelings for you. I love you unconditionally. And there, there's a timing thing I was telling you about with the magician card energy. I wish things could be different. That's why they're asking why. Why does this have to happen now? Like, why do I have to meet this person now? I realize that there's a strong connection between us. It's like, why can't things be different? You see how they're afraid to talk with you, to contact you? 
I can't stop thinking about you. Contradictions here. Finding out the truth crushed me. I want to tell you how I feel. So this person really does want to tell you how they feel and they have feelings for you. Okay, so let's go further. Let's get more information here. Let's use this deck. What does Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Sagittarius's love interest secretly want to tell Sagittarius? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Uh, I see that courage wanting to say you're my true love. Yep. They want to tell you they have feelings for you. That's the first card coming out. And that's been growing, as I told you. My intuition was telling me this person's like, this has been growing, growing, growing within them. And I know you guys work together, so we see the prosperity card coming out. This person has love for you. And they want something to, to be brought into harmony with this friendship. Mm -hmm. There is a sense of inspiration. So that's also what we were seeing, wasn't it? With the, the fact that this person's like, this person helps me. They're healing to me. They inspire me. And they make me feel strong. So you make them feel strong, Sagittarius. And what's this final card that does not want me to pull it out here? Yes, they want fulfillment of desires here because that's the harvest card. <laughs> it's like you glamour them, okay. <laughs> but they on the same token, there's the crossroads saying, I don't know if I should let them go and to heal this situation. All right. So there's a complexity here, obviously. So let's get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius's for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to their love connection? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, I guess this, I get the sense that you can't keep going around in circles and you have to follow your intuition because it's saying there's a mystical circle here, right? Because we know that there's something between you guys is a deeper connection. And it's saying your abilities will be enhanced. I get the sense that you're going to get some kind of sign here. So listen to your intuition. With this card, I feel like it's saying uh, be careful about overindulgence. However, it is saying that locked doors will now be able to be open. Okay, so you're going to have to listen to your intuition to this. Okay, be careful about any kind of overindulgence and wait for this lock door to be open. So it's, it's about to turn into an opportunity with the key card energy. But there needs to be a change in the wind. So listen to your intuition about the change in the wind. So when you feel the change in the wind, okay? Because the issue right now is because of the complexity of the situation, you don't want this temptation or some issues here about this overindulgence thing to get in the, the way of the situation. You do have good luck, but the timing needs to be right. So the timing isn't quite right in this connection as of yet. Yeah, there again, saying using your intuition. See, it's saying a subtle, sly approach is needed. Follow your intuition again. So you are getting intuitive messages. So around this situation, obviously, because we saw very spiritual cards all around this connection. You have to listen to your intuition, okay? There is going to be an opportunity that's going to come up with this person that's, that's going to allow this to open up. But right now, it's not open. So you got you got to stop yourself because uh, there is going to be some temptations here around the connection. You need to use your intuition. Be sly, sly and subtle about this. Okay, Follow your intuition. You'll know when the change happens with this person. All right, let's get you a yes or no question here. Answer, more or less. All right, for my beautiful Sagittarius, whatever their question is, can I have a positive card for yes, negative card for no, for them, whatever the question is. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need. Two. Six. <laughs> really, the hangman's coming out. Ace of Wands. All right, so when I see the hangman, hangman is a maybe card, okay? And then I would say the page of swords is more of a maybe card for me. The ace of wands is a yes, so we have a maybe yes. So I would say since I, I definitively don't know your situation, okay, 
And when I want to give a clear cut yes or no, I would say no at this time. This is the reason why I would say, because without knowing the, the, the weight of the situation and what's going on, like I, I wouldn't feel comfortable saying yes about this, okay? But I'm saying at this time, it's saying there's a maybe, so there's things yet to be decided. I wanna be clear cut about this, so there's things yet to be decided. So it's saying that there's a stuck energy, okay? There's a sacrifice that has to be made here for this potential opportunity. And Page of Swords is saying you're gonna to have to think outside of the box. King of Cups is saying you're gonna to have to take a leadership role here to speak a truth, King of Swords energy, because there is this confusion going on with Seven of Cups energy. The Moon card talks about confusions, illusions, or something that's still hidden about the situation that's causing some kind of heartache or sadness here. And Seven of Swords talks about some sense of deceptions or something still hidden about the situation that you're not aware of. So just to be clear cut, Hangman is a maybe card, so it's saying maybe, okay? But I'm saying there's still some things yet to be decided around your situation. If you want a clear cut yes or no, I would have to lean more towards the no at this time just because there's just still a lot of things going on here that I can't say that this would be a yes. I want to be clear cut about that, okay? Because I know I've read in the comments, you guys, I just like, I just want a clear cut yes or no. Okay, so if you want a clear cut yes or no, right now I would lean towards no. I'm not saying it's going to be no forever. It's just that it's no at this time. It can't, I, can't, I can't say that's a yes. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses. I love you guys so much. And if that reading resonates with you, you want to claim this reading, you want to share some things with me about this reading, definitely I do read my comments, guys. So I love to hear from you guys. Um, I will see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.